How's it going guys? It's in the money. And today we're going to discuss the FOMC's two day meeting, uh, the result of that, the Fed rate hike, as well as the summary of uh, economic projections that was released in Jerome Powell's address to the press. I use TradingView to discuss these topics and often post my ideas first before they come here, whether good or bad. And so if you want to sign up, use the affiliate link below in the description and the pinned comment because I literally sucked their toes for a sponsorship because I love them so much. All right, let's turn to the charts here. So you can see on the right hand side, we had our, um, here's the Fed interest rate decision. Prior, the target rate is 4%. The forecast was 4.5% and the actual was 4.5%. That means we had an increase of uh, 50 basis points, 0.5%. It's grayed out because it's, it already happened. And that was immediate. It shows up immediately on uh, TradingView, which is cool. And then you can see future economic stuff. The flame represents how important it is, essentially. Uh, so let's take, take a look at the charts here. Um, yesterday, we had our CPI release where we had a decrease of 0.6% since last month's reading and a beat of expect expectations of 0.3%. So we had a big rally before market because people were like, okay, that implies a 50 basis point move for today that we're going to be having a less restrictive monetary policy environment. But then they decided... Let's sell off, let's take some profits, and then let's sell, sell off and wait for tomorrow, which is today, to see what the summary of uh, economic projections is, um, what the actual Fed rate hike is, even though it's pretty much guaranteed to be 50 basis points because of the tick down in inflation, and what Jerome Powell has to say, because all that matters so much into um, pricing in equities. So there's a lot of hype at first, and then a sell off while we waited. And then right here, we got our 50 basis point increase, which is a slowing of the increase of interest rates. Last time was 75 basis points. And uh, we still had a huge sell-off. So what's the reason for that? Well, it's because in the summary of economic projections, we have some issues. And I'll link this down below. Particularly, I think people sold off because in September, three months ago, this is released uh, four times a year quarterly, uh, three months ago, it was 4.6 as the terminal rate for the Fed funds rate for 2023. We're going to stop at 4.6%. Now it's 5.1. So now we have, you know, another 0 0.5 of 50 basis points uh, more of rate hikes that we weren't expecting. So people don't like that. And then kind of across the board, there were some uh, negative readings and you can read more into this as well. They give a pretty um, plain terms summary of what's going on. But I think that was the main thing the market was markets were looking at. And so even though we got that release of 50 basis point hike, we still saw that sell off because the terminal rate was higher than expected for 2023, which means more rate hikes. And then when Jerome Powell entered the room, we had a further sell off because he was very stern in his approach toward inflation in an attempt to keep inflationary expectations low. That we understand the hardship that high inflation is causing and that we are strongly committed to bringing inflation back down to our 2% goal. Over the course of the year, we've taken forceful actions to tighten the stance of monetary policy. Even so, we have more work to do. Today, the FOMC raised our policy interest rate by a half percentage point. We continue to anticipate that ongoing increases will be appropriate in order to attain a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2% over time. Restoring price stability will likely require maintaining a restrictive policy stance for some time. He spoke a lot similarly to how he has in the past, saying uh, we expect you know um, below trend long-term growth in order to keep inflation down. Inflation is our main target. We won't stop until the job is done. He's repeated a lot of the same vocabulary. And in my mind, that's because he's trying to keep inflationary expectations low. And to kind of validate that statement, he did not address the tick down in inflation at all, at all during his introductory speech, which means he's trying to avoid looking at that positive news of good direction in inflation because he doesn't want people to have any inflationary expectations because if they do then it can have upward upward pressure on inflation he came in very stern and uh, the market sold off because of that because it was like hawkish um summary of economic projections we waited and then jerome powell came in and then he came in hawkish and so we had a further sell-off but then as time went on and people started asking him questions he accidentally kind of leaked softer language one man asked him a question and he he said that he felt like we were reach, reaching a sufficient restrictive monetary policy environment. I think our policies in getting into a pretty good place now were restrictive, and I think we're, you know, we're we're getting close to that level of 
sufficient, we think, uh, sufficiently restrictive. And of course, we're, we welcome these, these, uh, these better inflation reports for the last two months. They're very welcome, but... Well, do you think the, uh, the soft landing is no longer achievable? No, I wouldn't say that. No, I, I don't say that. You know, it kind of went directly against the stern warning he had when he walked in the room when he had papers. But when he was going off of his head uh, and answering questions, he had a difficult time uh, sticking to what he initially said, in my opinion. So I think he had a little bit of a dichotomy in his head where he's like happy that inflation is ticking down and he thinks we're reaching the point where we're reaching a sufficient, uh, sufficiently restrictive environment. But he didn't want to say it in his introductory speech. But as soon as those pages went away, he accidentally kind of had some more soft language. And so you saw the markets rally after that. And then the speech finished and the market sold off for whatever reason. And now we're seeing a little bump up. All said and done, these two very eventful days from CPI and the FOMC meeting and the Fed rake hike and the summary of economic projections release and everything, we're basically where we started, um, just a little bit higher than where we started. We are about, um, in the NASDAQ, 0.58% higher than when we started a few days ago. So a lot of a lot of volatility, which is expected. I mean, you can see it in the VIX leading up to these events. Uh, but we're right where we started, and it's not. I'm not entirely sure whether or not the market's going to see through what's going on here in this meeting, because in my mind, this this meeting was a uh, bit of a bluff. It was a bluff to keep inflationary expectations low, because they don't want to undo all the hard work they've done by going, "Hooray! You know, we're doing great. Inflation's going down." Um, we're going to go easy on it now because then people might have an increase in inflationary expectations. Right now, they're using inflationary expectations as a tool to keep that pressure down on inflation. And if you think back to his uh, November 30th speech, I believe it was, on inflation in the economy, he was super soft in the language he used there. We'll continue to make um, forecasts, but we're going to have to be humble and skeptical about forecasts, I think, for, for some time. And that calls for a lot of risk management uh, yeah, and the other difficulty, of course, is that monetary policy works with long and variable lags, in particular or inflation is, you know, is at the end of that train. And so if you're waiting for actual evidence that inflation is coming down, you know, you, it's very difficult not to over-tighten if, if, that's, if that's all you're doing. So we have a risk management uh, balance to strike, and we think that slowing down at this point is a good way to balance the risks of slowing down on the pace of rate on the pace of rate hikes. And yet, when he stormed in the room today, he was like, "We are going to literally strangle inflation until his eyes pop out." So there's kind of a change in tone, and it makes me suspicious. And then on top of that, him answering questions in a more softer tone also makes me suspicious that this whole thing is a bit of a bluff. So will the market see through it? Because if the market sees through this, they're going to see that okay, this was just a bit of a bluff. Um, they're just trying to keep inflationary expectations low. We're actually heading in a good direction, and they might be overestimating the terminal rate of where rates will end up in 2023. And if the market see th sees through all that, we could see a rally. Thank you for watching. This is In The Money. Peace out. Oh, and I love each and every one of you in a special and unique way. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. From me to you sitting there watching this on your phone or a computer. Love you. All right, bye. Mm -hmm.